uh, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Now, so where is he? He's seated at the right hand of the Father. Is that right? Now, where are you? You're seated with him. Isn't that right? You're seated there with him, and guess what? He's walking here in you. See, it's a double exchange there. He became what we were so we can become what he is. Why? Because as he is, so are we in this world. You got that? So while we're sitting there with him, he's sitting here today with you, right? We're there with him, and he's here with us, right? By way of the Spirit, he became, we became a habitation of God by the Spirit. That means that while God is in heaven, he's also here with us. Amen? Our prayers don't have to go beyond, you know, people say, well, my, hair's not, my, my, my prayers are not reaching the ceiling. Well, they don't have to. Why? Because God ain't out that way. He's in here. If you can get it to him here, you can get it to him there. Amen? Now, I know that some people go, ah, I don't understand that. Well, go study quantum physics. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> but <laughs> you ain't got that much time. Study the Bible, okay? <laughs> Stick in it and just decide to believe it. When you do that, guess what you're walking in? All truth. Right. Amen? So let's keep going. He says here, uh, so in verse 21, he was seated in heavenly places far above all. You get that? Far above all. Principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Now, notice, that's where you're seated. You are seated far above all. You got that? So there is nothing, there's no name on earth or anywhere else in that sense that no, and anything that has a name has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. Is that right? And you're seated with him. Now, you're seated far above all these things. So you're seated above cancer. You're seated above leukemia. You're seated above HIV. You're seated above everything. Is that right? In other words, there is no name that is named that can rise to where you are. Do you get that? That means you're seated above it. That means you're above it. What does that mean? That means that you don't bow your knee to it. You put your foot on it. Yes. Amen? So when the doctor says, well, it looks like you got this, and that's when you, you just kind of tap your foot and go, okay, thank you for that name. I just put it under my foot. Okay? Well, okay, doc, what's next? Where do we go next? And they're going to think they have to explain it all to you. No, I got that. That's already beat. Okay, what's next? Right? But see, that has to be part of who you are. It can't be just, okay, well, I'm going to gear up because I'm going to the doctor's office and they're going to give me a bad report because I know something's wrong. No, see, you've already lost that battle. Right? That's when you've got to know you can call somebody that can pray and believe. Right? So he says here in verse 22, and hath put all things. Notice that word, all things. There's not some things. doesn't leave anything out. And hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. So now he's the head of the church. The church is his body. The feet are in his body. So if it's under, all things are under his feet, guess what? It's all under your feet. Does that make sense? There is nothing on this earth that's not under your feet. Do you get that? Now, he says, which is his body, talking about the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Now, 